Hi, it's Katie, and in this video we're discussing the specifications of the SSR MultiPro Junior roof panel roll forming machine from New Tech Machinery. We'll cover things like available profiles, how much coil your machine can hold, machine speed, and why these specifications are important to know. First, let's look at the profiles available for the SSR. There are seven profiles total, two mechanical seam, four snap lock, and one specialty panel. This machine's variety of profiles allows you to make panels for residential and light commercial jobs. The snap lock profiles range from one inch to one and a half inches. The mechanical seam profiles range from one inch to one and a half inches. And this machine can also produce a T-panel. Check newtechmachinery.com for a list of current available profiles. Next, let's look at the maximum coil weight, coil widths, and finished panel widths. Understanding these numbers will help you purchase the right material dimensions from your supplier for the profile you want to produce. If you have an overhead reel rack on your SSR, it can support up to two 3,000 pound coils for a total weight of 6,000 pounds. It's important to note that the material gets used up when forming the male and female legs of the profile. For example, most panels use between four inches and six inches of material to create a specific profile. So a 20 inch wide coil would make a 16 inch wide finished panel. The SSR can support coils 15 to 20 inches wide and produce profiles with a finished panel width of 10 to 16 inches, depending on the profile selected. The maximum coil diameter your SSR can hold is 32 inches with an overhead reel rack and 45 inches using the freestanding decoiler. When it comes to types of materials, the SSR can form 28 gauge to 24 gauge painted, galvalume, and coated galvanized steel. NTM recommends 50 KSI maximum for 24 gauge, and 50 KSI is recommended, but 80 KSI is acceptable with adjustments for 28 gauge to 26 gauge steel. You can also run between 0.027 inch and 0.040 inch painted aluminum and 16 to 20 ounce 3 quarter hard copper. You may need to make limited adjustments when switching from material to material. The SSR uses a one and a half horsepower electric motor and can operate at speeds of approximately 30 feet per minute. The machine's eight polyurethane drive rollers are electrically driven via chain and sprocket. Finally, let's talk about the SSR machine's footprint. This is important so you can understand the towing requirements, overhead lifting requirements, the space the machine can take up on a job site, or its dimensions if you want to mount the machine in your shop or install it on your own trailer. Without a trailer, the SSR weighs 1,715 pounds, is 12 feet and six inches long, three feet and 10 inches wide. This machine is four feet, three inches tall with the overhead reel rack and one foot, 10 inches tall without the overhead reel rack. On an NTM trailer, the SSR weighs 3,975 pounds, is 18 feet and 11 inches long, seven feet, two and a half inches wide, and six feet and three inches high with an overhead reel rack. There are a variety of add-ons and accessories you can get for your machine at an additional cost. So please talk to any of our account managers for help choosing the right machine configuration or check out newtechmachinery.com. Thanks for watching and check out our YouTube channel or the Role Forming Learning Center for new content.